Greetings everyone, I'm Stefan and welcome back to the ruin that is our base. Matt is dead, Huntsman has no legs, and Stone is still in a casket. We're gonna want to bring him back, if at all possible, because Stone is our primary Chad character, and if we manage to get him back with some uh, Luciferium injection, that'd be pretty great. However, to get there, we're gonna have to do two things. Uh, one, we're gonna have to fortify our base and get our defenses up and running. Uh, two, we're gonna want to get rid of as much colony wealth as possible. And three, uh, we're gonna want to build this comms console, which uh, we can't actually build with anyone because Matt's dead. Uh, <laughs> so the one character I was training up to do this uh, is no longer possibly going to do this. We're gonna have to bring stone back for like a day to construct the comms console and maybe some wind turbines. Uh, but yeah. So what we're gonna do right now is a little risky. We're gonna try to arrest Coz, our guest, and uh, try to recruit her as quickly as possible. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna set my guys to do construction work first and foremost because uh, even though they are horrible at it, we really do gotta get these walls back up and running. Uh, we might even get them up as steel walls, although granted, we don't really have a lot of steel, so that's gonna be a slight problem. Might even use plasteel at this rate. Some of these walls, though, uh, definitely have to be fixed up with something uh, quick. I guess we could just use wood for that. Now, making a lot of this stuff out of wood is gonna make it hella flammable, uh, but hopefully it won't be too big of an issue. We still want our walls to be made out of stone because uh, sappers are a real threat, and having them blow through uh, steel or wood would be pretty detrimental. But I think that this is salvageable, although it is going to be a little difficult. Uh, Rigoro and Nose are going to need to go get some sleep, uh, for sure. And uh, all this smoothing operation, yeah, that's going to have to end. But alright, let's uh, see how this goes. Koz refused to be arrested. Uh, sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. Uh, we're gonna want to recruit her as quickly as possible. She does have 16 resistance, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, but we should be able to get her down uh, in due time. Uh, Matt is an unburied colonist, and if we keep him unburied... Hmm, that's gonna be an issue. I think we'll just bury him, actually. The chances of us getting a resurrector are way too slim. Otherwise, Nose can go and... Uh, Put Huntsman in a casket, because we're not going to get legs from him anytime soon, and uh, Huntsman is specifically the character that we want to break down uh, for better stuff, but we don't want him to break down in this situation, so uh, we'll store him for later. While Nose is going to uh, put him away, we'll also open up stone and uh, get him to go and construct the comms console. In the meantime, Matt is going to get buried, and... Oh! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Alright, I guess Stone is going to marry Nose now that he's out of the casket. Alright, that works. Uh, Stone, you better, you better not miss your wedding. How cute. Alright. Awesome, that is going to boost the move of our colonists significantly. Uh, for the next little while, which actually is really good. All right, now that Stone has reconstructed some of our uh, critical infrastructure, and uh, we're gonna put him back in the casket. Uh, he is running very low on the Sephirim, and we really don't want to uh, be in a situation where we literally can't get Stone out of the casket because he would break down immediately. All right, and now we got power back in uh, this room. Awesome. The most important thing is that we are somewhat defensible right now, uh, unless mechas drop, in which case we're gonna wanna have some M72 laws. Let's uh, let's actually get Nose to get on that. Well, it's a good thing I equipped those... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a very good thing that I equipped those M72 laws, because we just got a mech hive raid. Uh, let's get our guys to go behind the only sandbags we have remaining. Alright, let's actually see if we can destroy one of these uh, caskets before they appear. Oh, maybe not. Alright, nose, uh, equip the shotgun instead. These are scythers. All 
All right, Regoro bait them. No, he's gonna have to do the bulk of the work here. One Scyther is down. Another one's down. I think we're out of EMPs. That's a problem. Oh, no longer. <laughs> the Buckshot was actually enough. So that's that raid dealt with. Uh, Rigoro's armor is a little dinged up now, but that's fine. I'd much rather have this uh, mech raid than anything else at this point. Looks like our colony wealth is going down, but it's not going down nearly fast enough. I hope we get some traders appearing soon. Uh, because that could save us from just having all this colony wealth in the stockpile. Nope, there's no uh, trade caravan coming in. Uh, as a reward, there's just, uh, there's just an iguana. <laughs> Alright, well... We'll let the iguana stick around with us. All right, now our base is somewhat cleaned up and uh, we really want to focus on getting some legs for Rigoro and uh, or Cat to actually be recruited into our colony. So we're gonna go and uh, let Nose do some more research. Oh, oh, good straighter. Holy shit. All right, Rigoro, let's go. They better have Luciferium. Let's see. Uh, it's not looking like it, but we still can sell a lot of our garbage. Like, yeah, like all these charged cartridges can just, uh, can just go. All right, let's see here. I'll just sell everything and see what we can come up with. We're still getting rid of a lot of colony wealth right here, but uh, if a bull goods trader or an exotic goods trader comes around again with Luciferium, we are going to need all that colony wealth to be able to trade, so I'll actually leave some of this be. Alright, and now we got a siege with a relationship, no less. That's not good. I don't like relationships. That means that if uh, this teenage mercenary machine gunner dies, uh, someone's going to be unhappy. Alright, awesome. Uh, now the raid is coming our way. And I don't think I actually want to take it in our position. Uh, I'll retreat back to this turret. And then we'll be able to use the turret in addition to uh, Rugoro's weapons. Probably even get uh, Nose involved because uh, we are pretty low on colonists. And uh, yeah. Why is Rugoro getting shot? Go out. Where are, you, where are you going, buddy? St st stand your ground. Don't, don't, don't die, please. Figaro, just, just shoot. Just, just for the... They have a shield. Figaro has to retreat. Alright, looks like Nose is going to be doing the... Oh, maybe not. Nose might not be able to really do much. Regoro shooting Georgette, but the problem with Georgette is that she's got a she's got a low shield. Regoro just kind of have to uh, crawl back to our base. Let's see. Nose should be able to down a few people. Guano's dead. How unfortunate. Alright, and we got retreat. Awesome. <laughs> wow, Georgette really came close. Oh, I guess she ran out of ammo. <laughs> Alright, well, there's no point in really taking her on right now. Uh, Rigoro's a little uh, messed up, though. Nose is too. Our resistance is down to 7.5, so we should be able to get Koz into our colony very, very soon. Oh, we got a combat supplier. 
Uh, that works. Actually, that works fairly well. Uh, what we're going to do is the good old-fashioned claim everything on the map as ours trick and just sell them all the junk that's lying around. That is a lot of junk to sell. Well, we'll see what we can get out of this. All of this junk is going to be going to them. And in exchange, I'm buying a bit of ammunition, medicine, and uh, honestly, there is a power armor helmet that I could buy as well. That's probably a good call. This still leaves us with a whole bunch of rounds, which we are going to just gift over to them. Yeah, that certainly makes an impact. Alright, now they're a lot happier with us. And we also got a tech print that we're going to apply that's uh, going to help us out in terms of research. And that is going to be a complete dump of colony wealth. Now all I have to do is delete all of these stockpiles. Yep, colony wealth has dropped dramatically. Alright, and we also got prosthetics, so we can get uh, Rigoro a nice new pair of legs. Ooh, we need skills to make prosthetics. So we are going to have to bring stone back for this uh, for a very short little while. Oh no. Alright, granted, the enemies here aren't too bad. We can probably deal with this pretty easily. <laughs> Wait, did Rigor kill that Lancer so quick? Oh my god, he just shot in the brain. He didn't even wake up the other mechanoids. <laughs> there we go. And now we just punch the ship part to death. Oh. Another raid. Sappers. Uh, alright. Rigoro, do your job again. Now you should be able to actually walk relatively quickly. Yeah, 78% movement is actually not that bad. Well, Rigor was suppressed. Uh, Alright. Alright, they're finally fleeing. Oh! Donkey's, uh, down again. Poor thing. <laughs> oh, interesting. We got a quest to host someone for 19 days in exchange for potentially a very good character. Uh, which we are going to do. Yeah, uh, guest? <laughs> good luck. I don't know if you're going to make it very long in this colony. Oh! Got Ko's on board. Awesome. Now we can actually do construction work. And we got a party. Because we got four colonists now with uh, Ko's. Excellent. And we got a combat supplier. Awesome. Alright Ko's, you got a brand new set of armor. Uh, wherever that is. Excellent. Oh no. That's Imperials. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> Shoot. Um, hmm. Best weapon that we really have is Vigoro's gun and uh, the M72 laws. We might genuinely have to use anti-tank weaponry against the Dominion. Yeah, we'll have to let them come close and then shoot them. I did say, oh no, it did say multiple directions. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, shit. I, I can't go out in the field to deal with them. They have sniper weapons. We're just going to have to kind of line up right here and uh, hope for the best, I think. All right. The Imperials are beginning their assault. Let's see. They're going to go north. Our guns are down. Uh, well, all of them should be down. So once they come over, we're going to have to meet them. Let's do that. Alright, let's see here. Big boys are going to be coming to town. I'm going to tell them to hold fire, and we're going to do this very carefully and very manually. Alright. Oh, that's a problem. Alright. They actually ducked for cover. Those bastards. <laughs> Alright, that's one down. That's a wall down. Let's move. All right, that guy's down. Good. I'm gonna have to pull back a little. All right, first group is actually dealt with. Holy shit. Uh, Koz is bleeding. Rogaro's doing relatively fine. All right, I think we can maybe handle this. Let's right here. Donkey's dead. Uh, I do want to strip this guy if at all possible. Donkey three is dead. The the dudes are literally using the fact that there's no door here to shoot our donkeys. That's... That is dirty. Our donkey too. Live! I believe in you. Oh, wow. We just downed someone. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. That's another set of great armor. Maybe I should have had someone else uh, do the stripping. Shit. Are you what? Where are you firing at, buddy? Uh. They decided to steal what they can and leave. All right. Cause just what 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 do you think you're doing? Fuck it. Shoot the missile. That 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 did not work. That did not work. <laughs> That absolutely did not work. Go, 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 run, run, run. Ah, uh, nose, shit, shit. One's down, one's down. All right. Two's down, two's down. Come on. Just shoot the cataf- Actually, we don't shoot the cataphract. Ah, uh, shit. Shoot the guy behind the cataphract. <laughs> cataphract can be stopped. Holy shit. <laughs> Ignore the cataphract, please. Go north, go north, go north. Come on. Koz, equip, equip the axe. <laughs> Rigoro, actually stand your ground. Hold on. You can maybe attack this guy. And we won this engagement too. Holy moly. Alright. Death in 16 hours, no immediate danger. And just a bruise. Alright. Wait, this... This guy has a Luciferium need. 
All right, buddy. Well, we are getting through your armor. Somehow. Don't you dare leave us. All right, Coz, just uh, go and strip these people. Come on. Go, go, go. We got him down. We got him down. Is that... Is that... Is that real? Yeah, cataphract armor, boys. Real cataphract armor. Oh, this guy is still here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. And we did manage to get him down. Whew. We managed to not lose anyone and actually deal with the Imperials. A lot of the credit goes to Rigoro, but even more credit goes to Nose, because holy shit, those EMPs did work on that raid. Like, for example, uh, the Cataphract. The only reason we managed to get him down <laughs> is through EMP slugs, which pierce armor. As you saw, they didn't, uh, they didn't do a whole lot of damage, and EMPs are very vulnerable in the fact that, well, you know, they're very close range. But we managed to get him down. Same with this guy. Uh, we could capture him. And actually, it's better if we release them. So, uh, Rugoro, uh, your job is going to be to capture these people, and then we're going to just straight up release them. Nose, though, is going to tend to Koz. And, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, this is uh, one hell of a windfall. Now, our colony wealth isn't going to like it at all. Uh, like, a lot of this stuff is extremely expensive. But having a cataphract on our side is quite amazing. And all these good guns and all this good ammunition that we got from this raid, that is going to be very nice. Like, for example, TAC-50. 50. 50 BMG round. With armor-piercing incendiary, we can pierce through centipedes. And with Sabo, we can just make holes in them. So, yeah. Against certain raids, uh, some of this more specialized equipment is definitely going to be worth it. My only wish is that <laughs> uh, our colonists actually had shooting skill. Rigoro, the mentally dull psychopath with uh, two, <laughs> two irons for legs, he's the only guy that can actually do anything when it comes to shooting. And I think I'll be equipping him with cataphract armor. Uh, Stone, though, is going to be making a comeback in the next episode because we finally got some Luciferium. Not in the way I expected, uh, <laughs> not at all, but we do have Luciferium. But anyways, I think that wraps it up nicely for today's video. We still have a shot at making this work. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.